guys, I'm back and it has been a few months, I'm not gonna lie. I've been gone missing MIA, deceased, but I'm back now. So, where have I been? I've been deciding where I wanna go to college. Yes, I know, intense. For today's video, I'm gonna be describing the college process and what I went through and like everything I've learned like while going through it and everything I experienced and what I wish I had done differently and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna be doing a college reveal, so yes. Let's just get into it. So I'm gonna talk about first like my high school like career. <laughs> so I would say I'm like, I'm not at the top top of my class. I think I'm like top 45 out of 360, which isn't even that good once I put in perspective, but like, I don't know, I thought it was good. Throughout my high school career, I took a mix of like honors and APs. I'll just list my like APs and like most recent like junior and senior like classes. So junior year, I took regular history, honors pre-calc, honors French. And then I took AP chemistry and I took AP lang. Um, I think that's five. I don't know I'm missing a class. Senior year, I took AP French, AP literature, and AP BC calculus. And last year, I also took honors orchestra. And this year, I'm taking honors orchestra. Oh, and I'm in honors physics this year, and I still took regular history. So I'm kind of like an A minus student. Like I always have like a 92 in like every class. In the honors classes, I can sometimes have like an A, but mostly for APs and stuff and like the harder honors classes, I'm mostly an A minus student. The class is kind of really challenging, like chemistry, I was like more of a B plus B kind of girl. You know? So yeah, so should I get into it? Okay, yeah. My GPA from four years was a 3.93, and this broke down into a 3.6 freshman year, which I regret. I regret taking honors biology and ruining my GPA. And then I had a 4.0 for the next three years. You can have like A minus and still get a 4.0 GPA, which is kind of clutch. In terms of extracurriculars, I know I was in four honor societies. I played soccer, ran outdoor and spring track. So I do community service for the honor societies and then I have my sports and then I also filmed YouTube videos, which took up a lot of my time because it takes like eight hours for me to edit a video. Regarding like the SATs and like tests like that, I took the ACT, didn't really like it because I didn't really like my score. I think I took it the first time I got a 30. I was like, nope, no thank you. So I went back to the SAT and I took it three times, I'm pretty sure. Or I took the practice one and I got a 1350 on that. And then when I took it for real, I got a 1490 and then I studied again and I took it again and I got a 1490 but my super score ended up being a 1500. So my SAT score was a 1500 super score SAT score. Uh, yes. So now let's get into where I applied, like ED, EA, RD, and like what happened there. Fall of senior year, you're getting ready to apply. I just had this vision of myself being done with my college applications. I was just waiting to be a second semester senior, but I still had to type all these essays, which kind of sucked. So my ED school I applied to was the University of Pennsylvania. And the reason I applied to this school ED is because it was my favorite Ivy out of all of them. My dad had gone there. I was kind of like expected to apply there for like my ED and that was like my top school so I applied ED there. Moving forward, then the early action schools I applied to were Northeastern University, University of Massachusetts Amherst, and Villanova University. So my range of like schools that I was applying to were schools that were in the Northeast because that's where I live and my mom didn't want me going far and I didn't really want to go far either because I don't really like plane rides for college and I don't really like long car rides either. So I kept it like my farthest school that I applied to was six hours away by car. Regular decision, the school I applied to were Amherst College, Boston College, Boston University, Colgate University, Cornell University, Dartmouth College, Georgetown University, Lehigh University, Middlebury College, New York University, Penn State University, Swarthmore College, and Syracuse University. So out of all the schools I've listed, my safety schools were University of Massachusetts Amherst, Penn State, and Syracuse. I had three safeties, which in the end, I don't recommend applying to three safety schools because it's a waste of money. On December 17th, I got my University of Pennsylvania application in and I got rejected and I was kind of sad, but I also wasn't 
like people in my school who were like I consider like academically superior to me were getting rejected from some of the Ivies so I wasn't that thrown aback because I'm not like the top of my class. Um, my dad was a little shocked that I didn't get in but I don't think he really understood like where I was on the class. I did think that because I was a legacy and because I'm Latino I would have a little bit of leverage but I guess I didn't. Like out of all the campuses I visited, University of Pennsylvania wasn't my favorite like campus. It was just a school that I would definitely go to if I had gotten in because the academics are just so good. The next status update I gotten was from the University of Massachusetts Amherst and I got into there and I was super happy because that was my first college I got into and the next school I got my status update from was Northeastern University. I typed it in and it's like you're like in. I was so excited. Then the next school that came out was Villanova University. When I opened my application I saw that I was deferred which I was like how did I get into Northeastern and not Villanova? I don't know I was like okay whatever. Um, I was kind of sad. Uh, honestly. Moving on, Penn State. I mean, I just got a letter that said you are Penn State, so I was like, oh, I guess I'm Penn State bound. So I got into Penn State. That was cool because that's like a really big like state school, so that's like a good option to have. Next one was Syracuse University, and I got in there. So now we're just getting into all the regular decisions. Starting off with Amherst College. Uh, I was rejected from Amherst College, which I wasn't too sad about because I hadn't even visited the school. It's just something I decided to apply to. And then I got Colby College back and I was waitlisted there. I thought I wouldn't get in because it has a pretty low acceptance rate. But like one of my best friends is going there. So I was excited that I was waitlisted. So yes. And then Middlebury College, I did not get in. I was rejected. And then I was also rejected from Swarthmore University, which I wasn't that sad about because I've heard weird things about that school. But the next one I received was Georgetown University and I was rejected from Georgetown. And this was a little sad for me because going into all of this, my top four were NYU, Georgetown, Colgate, and Boston College. Like after I didn't get into UPenn, those four were my top schools. So I didn't get into Georgetown and I was kind of disappointed in that. I like the idea of Georgetown. I like how it's like prestigious. I like, I like the buildings. Uh, I did not like the six hour drive though, so at least I didn't have to go through that every weekend. And then after that, I got a regular decision from Villanova University and I got accepted and I was kind of excited about that. Um, I didn't really know much about Villanova, so that's why it wasn't in like my top four. And then I got Lehigh's status back and I was accepted into Lehigh. And then Boston College came out and I got waitlisted and I was kind of... I thought like my level, like my range and like my stats and stuff were like exactly what Boston College was looking for. So that's two of my top four, like either like Georgetown's rejected and Boston College is waitlisted, which is still like an unsure old. That is not a word. And then Boston University came out and I got into Boston University, the Questroom School of Business, which I was really excited for. And then Colgate came out and this was one of my top four and I got in and I was super excited because when I went to Colgate, I really liked the atmosphere and stuff like that. It's a great liberal arts school and I was really happy that I got in. So I was really excited when I got into Colgate. And then it was Ivy Day, Dartmouth and Cornell. I got rejected from both. So rejected from Dartmouth and rejected from Cornell. I wasn't that disappointed, like I kind of knew I was hopeful, but I also knew. The final college status update was NYU, and I applied to Stern. It's kind of hard to get into, like 8% acceptance, and I got it. And I was like, what? <laughs> I don't deserve it, like send it back. I don't want it. I was very shocked that I had gotten in because it's a very selective business school. I consider it like almost Ivy level because they place really well and recruiters all want them, like the graduates from Stern. So I was really excited for that, and I was really happy for that. So the first ones that I ruled out were my safeties, my original safeties. So UMass Amherst, Penn State, and Syracuse just because they were my safeties. I ruled out Boston University because it wasn't part of my top four and I wasn't really that interested in going there. Lehigh I ruled out because I'd never visited so I didn't really know like the vibe of the campus. So then I was basically choosing between Colgate, NYU, and Villanova University. And Villanova started to pick up like on my radar because I just liked the school experience that it gave. It's only like a two and a half hour drive from home. It's a really like traditional college campus and it has like the sports scene and it has like the business school. So that's what made it come to my like top three. Colgate University, it's gorgeous. It's like a lovely place to like study, but it's in the middle of nowhere. It is liberal arts, which is beneficial, but I would be going into economics. And the thing about that is I wasn't sure if I wanted to study at like a real business school and go like more in depth into like economics, like finance and marketing and that stuff. I would 
go to graduate school for business because it's just not in depth enough. But I liked the feel of the campus. It's a much smaller school. It has like 3,000 students, so you'd feel like more like a community. And there is like a sports scene and stuff. And then there was NYU, which has a great business school. Like Stern is so great, but there's no traditional college experience. Like there's no sports and stuff. You're in the middle of the city with like everyone else around you. Like you're not sectioned off like you would be at like Columbia or something. Um, imagine if I had gone into Columbia. I didn't even apply, so. When I visited NYU twice, it was just not the place for me. And that's kind of hard when it's like, the school is just so well academically, but like I know I just would hate it. So it's either like go to NYU and be like miserable, but be like successful in life. I was not ready to do that. These extremes are like NYU, which is in the middle of everything, but you don't get a traditional college campus, but you have like a good business school. And then Colgate, which is in the middle of nowhere. There's so few students, there's no business school. You do have a traditional college experience. And then Villanova was just rising on up for me because it was like in the middle of two extremes. Like you have Philadelphia, like 12 miles away. It's a traditional college experience and it has a business school that's pretty good. Not as good as Stern, but it's still pretty good. And you have the sports scene and sense of community and stuff. So I kind of thought that Villanova like meshed what I liked out of both schools. So from that, it took me a month to decide and put my deposit in, but I will be attending Villanova University in the fall of 2020 if we can go back to school. Ultimately, I chose Villanova because it was a mix of what I liked. It's basically a good location to go to college, I thought. And it does have a business school that's not as good as Stern, but I felt like I could really push myself to like rise to the top of the class at Villanova, whereas in Stern, I'd most likely be in the middle of the class no matter how hard I tried. So that's the basis of my decision and why I decided to choose Villanova. I'm still currently on the waitlist at Boston College. I rejected my Colby waitlist offer. I didn't want to waste their time with like interviews and stuff if I wasn't going to go anyway. So here's what I just want to say about the college process and if you're still in high school I have like some tips about what I would have done differently. Don't take hard classes if you're just gonna fail them or like get like C's and stuff like I did for bio because it will bring down your GPA and you can't get it back up. Like I should have just taken regular biology and had an A instead of taking honors and getting a C with like a 0.5 boost. Like that didn't do anything. Freshman year was the year that hurt me so I'd say if you're going into school your freshman year does count. I wish I had more motivation like to just work the hardest and like be the best I could like in my class being an A minus student for me it was always just like I did my work like I could have earned A's I just did not I never found like any motivation to do it so if I could do it again I would try to push myself to be at more at the top of the class because I think the payoff would have been a lot greater. Another thing I would suggest is to find like a hobby that kind of sets you apart. A lot of the sample essays I read when I was writing my own essay involved kids like creating microorganisms or like creating a computer software. Just find something like quirky to do. I guess it doesn't have to be that intense. For me, it was YouTube because not a lot of people like in my school area do it. That's what I had that kind of set me apart. Just find like an interesting hobby that you're interested in and will put time in. That's a really good way to have something unique about yourself that not everyone else has. And also with the college process a lot of these acceptances and rejections are just so random at times and a lot of the ivy ones are just so skewed that it's like even mean like being a legacy i didn't get in but like most of the time it's like legacies or just like the top of the top or sometimes even the top of the top don't even get into these ivy league schools so if you're worried about ivies it's just becoming like a really weird process and i wouldn't like be too harsh on yourself if you didn't get into one because i think the process itself for ivy is just becoming a little bit skewed and it's and rejections like in general it's basically like make or break I guess like I guess it's how your admission people are like feeling that day or stuff because there's a lot of people like in my grade who I feel like should have gotten into certain schools that they didn't and other people that I feel like aren't as deserving of the schools that they got into <laughs> let me share names don't like beat yourself up or be too hard on yourself if you don't get into like certain schools because it is tough and it is kind of just like a gamble I would say just try the hardest you possibly can and it will pay off or just be mediocre yogurt and just complain when you don't get in. Now, I'm super happy and thankful for all the schools I did get into, and I wish you guys all the best of luck if you're applying to schools, and I wish you luck if you're into a school and you're headed there now. I'm super happy to be attending college, and I'm super grateful that I'm able to attend college. Does anyone want college vlogs? So that is it for my college process and my experience. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If it helped you anyway, make sure to leave a like. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Well folks, I did it. I'm going to college. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, 
Go ahead. What? I was just searching College Confidential for days on end. Days on end. I would not stop. I look like a camel. Moo. Oh. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. When I wake in the morning, all of these feelings are gone. Why are you here in the back of my mind? Maybe I just need somebody that I. You fill the space, you know how to do it just right.